ask most people about the pressing issues facing the state, and many will say transportation is near the top of the list, especially bad roads, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's taken us longer to get where we need to go. The bridge tolls keep going up, and the condition of our roads seem to get worse and worse. And on top of that, you probably didn't know this, but half of Caltrans' top managers could be retiring in the next three to five years, and there's no one in line to take the places. And joining us this morning to talk about that and other issues is Rod Deardon, the executive director of the Manetta Transportation Institute at San Jose State University. Thanks for joining us this morning, Good Rod. Good to see you, Rod. to be here. So, so, uh, so I'm basically hearing good and bad. The Fed and state money is going to come in. It's going to be there, but there's nobody... Uh, in line to take these top jobs. Well, Isabel, uh, even the issue of federal and state money is a question now. You know, if, if we have this so-called gas tax holiday, that's all the money that goes into transportation any place ever. Mm -hmm. And if we don't collect that gas tax, then we don't have money for maintaining our highways and building our transportation system. So you can't have your cake and eat it too. Oh. So we do have a crisis on two, two uh, sides. First, we have the baby boomers aging out and leaving a huge void in terms of the top technical and top management people in California but across the nation in transportation but in other careers too as well as a very serious shortage in terms of gas tax revenues to maintain our transportation systems. Why aren't the young uh, transportation students, the engineers in college looking at Caltrans as a viable way to start their careers? Well, Marty, they did for many years, but in the last uh, several decades, Silicon Valley's been sitting there with uh, uh, exciting the careers. Millionaires. Oh, yeah, everybody <laughs> thinks they're going to develop the next silicon chip and become an right. entrepreneur and, and retire in the hills and they're at 25 years of age. Of course, that doesn't happen, uh, except very, very rarely, yeah. but it has sopped up a whole lot of technical talent. So the Mineta uh, Institute is actually offering online courses? Or San Jose State is? Uh, yes. Uh, the uh, San Jose State University, done, uh, created by the Mineta Transportation Institute, has created a Master of Science in Transportation Management and two certificates, one in Transportation Management, one in Transportation Security Management. And those uh, prepare individuals to transfer from one career, maybe the Silicon Valley engineer who's unhappy with Silicon Valley, would like to transition over to become the next manager in Caltrans mm -hmm. to build bridges and, and uh, create transportation systems. And our degree is the way to do it. And we teach it through the Caltrans video conference bridge at 24 locations around the state, uh, four, four nights a week. A person can take it while they're fully employed in other positions. Uh, we, give, uh, we give scholarships to defray the cost of the, of the degree. We're really anxious to bring the best and the brightest into transportation careers. And it seems like, given the void at the top that's, that's ahead, that's looming ahead, there could be a somewhat of a fast track of, of people starting in Caltrans and moving up fairly quickly, I would think. Marty, there, <clears throat> there really is an opportunity now that we've never seen in the history of the California. Uh, we're building things like the high-speed train coming up, and mm -hmm. we're building more freeways and more mass transportation system and maintaining the system, and at the same time, we have a shortage of staff. So people who would like to transition into transportation, now is the time, and the Mineta Transportation Institute's Master of Science in Transportation Management is a device for that transfer. So am I hearing that there's not a crisis in infrastructure, that there are plans uh, on board, that we're doing different things to go green? Uh, Isabel, I think there is a crisis of infrastructure. Uh -huh. We've been building our freeway systems in California since the 1950s, since Eisenhower came up with the idea. And we haven't maintained those systems properly at all. We haven't had the money. We were building more systems all the time. Yeah. The result is that those old systems are in bad need of repair. Mm -hmm. We still need more facilities because we're going to double the population in the state by 2045, 2050. And so we, we just don't have the funding to maintain the systems and build the additional transportation systems and mass transportation systems needed to serve the population. And we've got to have either more gas tax, the National Commission that studied it said 40 cents more in the next four years, uh, or we have to have another source of funding for transportation. Not only do you need some engineers, but you also need some futurists, some people who can look off in the 20, 30 years from now and take a look at Bay Area traffic. Mm -hmm. And how are we going to deal with this? Marty, that's the Manetta Institute's responsibility. <laughs> all right, all right, Rod, so it's all on you send, then. We're going to send them to you. So here you can uh, call the Manetta Transpor Transportation Institute, 408-924-7560, or visit them online at transweb.sjsu.edu. Thank you, Rod Deardon, for joining us this Thank morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good seeing you. Thank you, Rod. Okay.